I'm not going to wear this the whole time. But I wanted to show you one of the hats I sold. Obviously, it doesn't fit me. It's too tight. But isn't that cute? Fortunately, I only sold it for $10, and I paid about 5 for it. So not a great profit margin. That's one of the reasons I don't like hats is they mess up my hair. <laughs> but um, I still thought it was a cute hat. Um, I don't think I'll be getting these anymore, which kind of goes along with our topic today. As pretty as it is, and I, was, I l enjoyed listing it, I um, now have to put this in a box because I can't put this in, you know, regular poly mailer. It's going to get crushed. So I didn't really think that through when I purchased this, <laughs> but I will in the future. <laughs> How are you guys doing? If you don't know who I am, I'm Cindy Krause with House House Sift and Thrift. Hope you're having a great day. I am an eBay seller, so I tell you how to become a better eBay seller. If you're just beginning or starting out, you're thinking about um, diving into the reselling business, or you've been doing it a while, um, hopefully you will learn a lot on my channel, learn um, you know, how to grow, how to get better, because we all want to get better as resellers. I've never said that I've learned too much, because I haven't always have um, room to grow and a lot to learn that's why I watch resellers on YouTube almost every day because I want to glean the knowledge from them so I can become a better reseller how's it going with your sales um, mine are good they're pretty consistent uh, with the two to seven a day and um, you know I'll have a couple of days that are slower but I always get at least one to two sales so that's a good thing and I hope it's going the same for you guys. The reason why it's that way for me is I'm consistent. I list every single day. Uh, the only time I wouldn't list is if John and I are out of town or we're out for the day running errands or hanging out together. John is my husband in case you didn't know. Or um, I happen to be sick which doesn't happen for me in the summer normally, thank God. I did get sick over the winter two or three times, but it's so nice to feel healthy. And if you wanted to know what my shirt says, is um, what does it say? <laughs> oh, um, blessed are my curves, something like that. And this one of the necklaces I picked up on my thrifting trip. I usually, you know, are I'm thrifting to sell, but sometimes I'm thrifting to buy for myself don't we all i mean that's one of the perks about thrifting is you can buy stuff for yourself you don't want to do a lot of that or you're going to be out of business <laughs> you really want to buy be buying things for your business and to, to, i know i haven't done a lot of thrifting videos lately or any wet solds i don't really know what you guys like i wish you'd tell me if you want more of either one of those let me know I've been kind of focusing on brands and categories to be listing on eBay. I've been talking about the brands and categories that um, I have sold well in and that you should sell in. But today I thought I would talk about the opposite things that maybe you should, brands and categories and items that maybe you should stay away from. At least it's my personal opinion that these things are um, either saturated or don't sell well for me. Maybe they'll do well for you but this has been my experience and all I can do is share my experience oh Oliver you want to come hang and see the people hey, bye. I'm sleepy what are you doing to me <laughs> say hi he's such a good cat he just he just doesn't care he just lets me do whatever with him I love him so much and I love my Sparta too all right so I thought I would kick it off 
on saturated brands. I talked a little bit about this in my last video, but, uh, and these are just brands I thought up at the top of my head. And this is for me, you guys, this is my personal experience. You know, maybe it won't be this way for you. Maybe you've done very well with these brands or you can find something and flip it quickly for a lot of money. And, you know, I will say that I'm generalizing on these brands. It could, de it does depend on what you're selling by this brand. But I just saying in my experience for what I've listed for these brands, they're slower sellers for me. And I'm also not saying that I would never pick them up again. It all depends what the item is. So, Sperry, that used to be a very good brand that people did very well on. I think by the time I bought my shoes that I've listed, they're sneakers, women's sneakers. I think they're really cute. There's white and multicolor uh, sitting for months. And it could be that I have the price too high. I do drop the price periodically. Oh, I just didn't realize that my straw is showing. This is my Diet Coke. I haven't gotten off it yet. I just, I'm addicted. I'm not addicted to too many things. That's one thing I'm addicted to. Um, you know, I'm not addicted to smoking or drugs or alcohol, but I love me some Diet Coke. And I know it's not great for me, but in this point in my life, I'm just going to drink it because I enjoy it. All right, so Sperry, like I said, I've had these women's sneakers in my store for a while. They're just sitting there. I do believe they'll sell eventually, and I will keep lowering the price, and I'll do my list and relist, whatever I can to get them sold. But for me, I probably won't be picking up Sperry again. It will depend when I'm out in the wild, when I'm out thrifting or sourcing, wherever that may be, yard sales or rummage sales or estate sales. Um, I'm going to be comping it, but I'm probably not going to be picking up too much Sperry. Temptations, that was also a good selling brand. Danny, the niche lady, has talked about that brand a lot. She picks it up a lot when she goes thrifting, but I purchased these. It's really pretty. It's a three set of spoons, and they're like a, a porcelain ceramic, and they're, they're painted. They're really pretty sitting in my store at least six months uh no interest on them so again temptations is a brand that it depends on what you're selling nike of course that's highly saturated but it still sells i've i've sold some nike's athletic shorts lately and um but i don't tend to go look for nike if i find it great and of course there's there's going to be the exception to every rule rule a lot of people uh, sell high-end Nike items and make a lot of money, but I'm not going to be buying the high-end sneakers. If I find a Nike item that is high-end, like I've sold a cap before for like 80 bucks, of course I'm going to pick that up, but generally I probably won't pick up Nike unless it's like the athletic wear, which is selling very well because it's summer now and that's what people want to wear. And it's same with Reebok and Adidas. I'm gonna lump those all together. I will buy the athletic shorts because that is selling well for me. The, the best brand on athletic wear for me is my Under Armour. So I will continue to look for the Under Armour, but if I find a Nike, Reebok, Adidas, you know, uh, the loose fitting athletic shorts or tank tops or, or shirts, I will be picking those up. But generally, I'm not going to be looking to thrift those. Torrid, now Torrid does sell well for me, but it's a slow seller. So it does sell. Maybe that shouldn't have been on this list. Uh, it depends what it is, but I do end up selling it. Uh, the reason why I put it on this list is it's a slow seller, and I do feel it's uh, saturated. A lot of people, a lot of Torrid out there. If you look at any of these searches for any of these items, you're going to see there's multiples, hundreds, thousands of these um, categories listed on eBay. Chico's, oh my gosh, I, oh, that's, I'm not going to be picking up Chico's anymore. I used to be a really good selling brand, a high selling brand. I think it's very, very saturated. And I also, just like all these things, it depends what it is. I, the things that I have put on eBay, I've listed on eBay, Chico slow sellers, sold a couple of them for like nine bucks, 10 bucks. I won't be getting Chico's anymore. 
uh, Columbia now that will depend. Uh, some of my Columbia stuff does sell. Some of jackets, some of the jackets still sell, or shirts, tops, etc. Again, you got to look that up. So Columbia saturated, but it does still sell. So just like all of these, look them up. Oh, it just sold an item. Okay, cool. Current style uh, women's shirt for ten dollars seventy-five cents. That was my offer. I just wanted to get it out of my store. Um, all right, boho is getting a little saturated, and along with that, the cottage core, all the cores. There's a lot of cores. There's grandma core, you know, cottage core, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, I have some listed things, some things listed that are core, I guess, and boho. So it does sell, it's just I feel like it's getting a little more saturated now because when it, the cores first came out, they were, you know, doing very well and, sorry, I had a message there, uh, but now I feel like it's saturated. Disney, of course, it's got to be one of the most, Disney and Nike, most of highly saturated brands on eBay, but it's such a huge category. There's so much Disney out there that you know souvenirs clothing posters etc it's i'm not going to go through all the disney you can imagine all the disney that's out there um so i comp it out it depends what it is but for me it's a very slow seller and uh unless i find something very special and i just know it's going to sell like well right now i i listed my yesterday i listed my port orleans women's top there was no other one like it on eBay. It's not super special. It's just like a light pink short sleeve top. I believe that will sell, not for big money, but if I'd found something very, you know, unique or very collectible Disney, of course, I'm gonna go get that. So that's the ones that I wrote down that I feel are highly saturated. There's tons more that are not on this list, but I'm just gonna say it again. It depends what it is. So if you find any of these categories out in the wild, please comp them out unless you know for sure by looking at it or you've sold it before that it's a sellable item. That's not gonna sit in your store for months and months unless you're fine with the long tail items. If you're fine with this sitting for a year or two but you know it'll sell eventually, fine. That's how I've done that. I'm not always the quick flip kind of gal. I have Plenty of things that have sat in my store two to three years and then sold. All right, so now on to the categories. This is for me, my personal experience that I'm probably not going to pick up or not pick up as much, depending on what it is. Skirts, they tend to set my set store, although I just sold one yesterday, like $10. Um, but I had, had that listed for several months. so not a high seller for me and they're a slow seller for me depending on the skirt if it's you know a designer a mall brand that you know people highly sought after and it's you know it's gorgeous it's very appealing uh yeah of course i will grab that up i do enjoy selling skirts they're easy to list as long as you're not too long i don't like listing long skirts or pants and that's another one I guess I could put on the list. Pants for me are kind of a slow seller, depending on the pants. But yeah, I didn't have that on here, but pants for me as well. I just, I don't enjoy listing them. I have sold some jeans and other pants, but uh, I'm not picking those up as much. And with my photo setup, it's difficult for me to list skirts, oh, sorry guys, list skirts and pants. What it is, is an email pops up on my phone and then it won't go away unless I get rid of it. All right, Hawaiian shirts. I do have some of these in my store, but they are a very slow seller for me. It, depending on the brand, if you get a very uh, quick selling brand, you know, some of the brands I can't think of them off of my head. Oh, Hilo, Hilo Hawaii. That could be a pretty good one. There's some brands that are good brands and they're gonna sell quick, but normally Hawaiian shirts kind of sent my store. I do enjoy buying them depending on the print. I think they're fun to list and 
I do like selling them, but you know, they are going to be a slow seller unless you get the right ones. Um, games, I do sell and list quite a bit of, but they are, they do tend to sit in my store. They're very slow seller, unless it's around Christmas time. People really buy games around Christmas time. Guess why? <laughs> they want to play games with their family around Thanksgiving as well. So yeah, I sell a lot more games then than I do during the year. I do still sell games, but my hubby enjoys picking those up when we're thrifting. And I, you know, I don't like the fact that it's not brand new, we have to count the pieces, but that's his job. I say, hey, if you want to pick them up, you get to count the pieces and he's totally fine with it. He really enjoys it. He's such a great husband. I love him so much. <laughs> and so, yeah, games depends on the game. Yeah, you totally have to look those up. But they do sell for me that just can sit for a while. So tennis rackets, oh my gosh, I've got like five tennis rackets because my hubby liked picking those up and some have sold for us. We've sold some $40, $50 rackets and some for 20 and around that uh, area. But, and they usually sell well in the summer and I had one sold, but the guy wanted to cancel it. So I really didn't sell it. And so I thought they would sell more, but you know, summer's not over. You know, people still could be buying my tennis rackets to play tennis, but right now they're sitting and I keep discounting them, hoping they'll sell. So I told him no more, no more tennis rackets, unless they'll sell out for some reason. And another thing I don't enjoy selling, and a lot of people do well with these, are golf clubs. I don't like selling them. I just sold three golf clubs. It took me a year and a half to sell them. And I, the price was really discounted. The person got a deal. I think I sold them for $20. They were women's golf clubs. Probably the reason why it took so long. Men's golf clubs probably would have gone quickly. And I had to wrap that up and find a box. It was not fun. Even one golf club, I don't, I still have two more sitting in my store from a couple years ago. Unless you want to cop them out and get those high end golf, golf clubs. I know people who make a killing on golf clubs, but it's not for me. I don't like listing them and I don't like shipping them. So I won't be getting them unless I just find that one that's going to sell super quick. All right, all right, nightgowns. Now I do enjoy and I do well with vintage nightgowns. Those sell very well for me and pretty quickly. But if you're just talking about like a regular cotton nightshirt or nightgown, a more contemporary one, no, that's for me, they just set my store. Now bathrobes I do pretty well with. Um, some of those are slow sellers, but some are not. But I don't enjoy listing bathrooms. I, I listed some of my own that sold. But, oh, they're so bulky and they're just a pain to not only take photos of, but to store. They take up room. So, yeah, I probably generally won't be getting nightgowns. Um, I don't usually sell men's pajamas. I have in the past. And um, the ones I like getting are ones I know are going to sell. I think I sold some Grinch lounge pants those sold quickly so it all depends but generally i won't be uh selling you know sleeping wear lounge wear all right swimwear believe it or not even though it's the time for swimwear it does not do well for me it sits in my store also um you know if it's a really desirable pair of board shorts for men or really like a new bikini or something or a very nice one piece uh, I'd probably pick it up but I used to really enjoy a uh, listing and you know selling swimwear because it's very easy to ship not so easy to take pictures it's a one piece I have to put on my mannequin <laughs> just because it looks better than just hanging loose but for me swimwear no it's a no-go uh, generally depending but shower curtains I've sold a few that I owned I just thought I list they just sit in my store for months and months they sell eventually not for a lot of money but I have a couple of them in my store now they're just sitting there and I do enjoy um, selling the hooks shower hooks shower curtain hooks and I've I sold uh, quite a bit of those over the years 
slow seller generally and not a high seller. So I'm not really picking those up anymore. Okay, blankets. I was for a while selling those quilts, baby quilts. And I don't enjoy taking photos. It's a pain. I have to lay them out on my living room floor, like put a sheet down and then get all the angles and oh, it's, I can't stand photographing blankets. So now it goes for any blankets. Um, not only the quilts, not only the vintage quilts, but you know, even more contemporary blankets. They sit in my store. I think I just sold one yesterday, 10 bucks. I had that for a year in my store. So no, I don't want to do blankets. Even the vintage quilts that can be very high sellers, if you get the right ones, hundreds in the hundreds, those granny square quilts, no, if somebody gave me one, I would list it. <laughs> I'm not going to turn down money, but I'm not going to go out and source any more of those. All right, glasses. I do enjoy selling sunglasses. They can be very slow sellers. Unless you get like a Ray-Ban or something, you know, really desirable designer. I have done well with sunglasses in the past, but yeah, generally they're slow and they sit in my store. So I will always look at sunglasses when I'm sourcing because I enjoy listing them and shipping them. They're so easy, but I'm going to be very picky with the ones I pick up. Okay. Pillows, you guys. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I, I enjoy listing pillows, but such a slow seller in my store. I still have some from a couple years ago. And I've gotten rid of a lot of them. It's just, uh, nobody wants throw pillows, at least the ones I list. And I think they're desirable. Some of them are those vintage crochet ones, which used to sell well for me, but they're really not now. And, or I get some really pretty ones. They're very colorful. I have these ones with peacocks on them that somebody else sold them for high money, but nobody wanted mine. And so I keep lowering the price, hoping they'll sell. All right, tote bags, luggage, those things sell. I did sell, uh, those things sit. I did sell a piece of luggage the other day. It was like an Oscar de la Renta vintage, but that had been in my store a while and any kind of tote bags just sit for me as well. I sell them eventually, but probably won't be doing that anymore. Uh, artwork, uh, art decor, wall decor. No, unless it's a very sought after artist, um, no. I still have a ton that's sitting downstairs in my basement I've had for a couple years. A kids clothes, no, I won't be doing that anymore. Whenever I list kids clothes, it's gonna be a couple years till somebody even wants them and they want them for like seven or eight dollars. <laughs> Hi Oliver. So it's, uh, okay, you're gonna see him, good spot. Ollie, um, my son Noah came here and he started calling Ollie, so I call him Ollie now. Oh, you can see the back of him. All right, I'm trying to go quick because I don't want to make this too long. Loafers, um, yeah, those slip-on loafers for men or women or the Oxfords. Oxfords are the ones that tie up with laces. No, no, no. Those pre-COVID, pre-pandemic, I think those sell, sold well for me and others. But now that people are working from home, people are more casual, not really buying those. And I've had, so, I still have two or three pairs of men's loafers. Um, and Oxford, so they're just sitting in my store. So, and then the last thing, belts. I've talked about this before. Unless they're leather with those uh, silver and turquoise belt buckles, like the one I sold, the Concho belts, or they're vintage, like the chain belts or some kind of 80s belt. Um, no go on the belts. I was gonna try to do that. Uh, pig latin but that's like no word for that word so yeah no 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 all right so i know i've been talking a lot about brands and categories but these are important things because this helps you guys source helps you the previous videos are what to look for this is what not to look for or what to leave behind so that means when you go into your thrift store you go into your state seller wherever you go sourcing you could go make a beeline to your niche whatever you sell whether that be shoes or clothes or jewelry or pottery whatever that is uh, video games electronics i mean there's tons but just go straight to that area 
that for your niche and you can overlook all these things that I just told you. So you're not wasting your time. You're going in there using your time wisely by getting the items that you need to sell for your business that make the most money and will sell quickly. So hope this helped you guys. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing great. So love you so much. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. As always, drop me a comment or subscribe if you haven't. Always, always love your comments and always your views and your subscriptions really help my channel. So I'll talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye.